So this is not new. In many instances, the revelation is not what to do. The revelation is when to do. President Hinckley, small temples. Everyone attributes small temples to President Gordon B. Hinckley. He came home from his mission. He worked for the church in the missionary department and in the communication department. David O. McKay uh, invites him to his office and says, Brother Hinckley, we're going to build a temple in Europe and we need to present temple ordinances in many different languages, even at the same time. They'd never encountered that challenge before. Gordon B. Hinckley didn't do this by himself, but that was the beginning of exploring the use of audio-visual means of presenting temple ordinances. In the 1960s, as a member of the Twelve, he's in Asia. I've read minutes from the Quorum of the Twelve where Elder Gordon B. Hinckley writes from Asia and says, the methods that we use for temple ordinances in the large temples in Utah won't be appropriate for the for what we need to do here. This is in the 1960s. In the 1970s, he's a member of the First Presidency. With Spencer W. Kimball, the first small temples are built. Then he becomes the president of the church, and we tell the story. He's in northern Mexico. He's concerned about the saints there who don't have access to the temple. And on the napkin, in the back of the car as he's driving along, this is the revelation. The revelation to President Hinckley was not the, the idea of a small temple. We're going to have a hundred of them by the year 2000. It was the when, not the what.